Hi everyone, my name is Philip. I'm a machine learning engineer in Hugging Face and the tech lead for the AWS partnership. Welcome to this walkthrough of the newest Amazon SageMaker features. In this walkthrough, we are going to take a look at the new Amazon, uh, AWS Hugging Face deep learning containers and the new Hugging Face framework extension for the Python Amazon SageMaker SDK. We are going to fine tune a text classification transformer using the new Hugging Face DLC and the SageMaker SDK. The model will be trained on the IMDB dataset for movie reviews. Before we get started, um, I wanted to let you know that you can find the sample notebooks and other sample notebooks and documentation on huggingface.co slash Amazon. There's also a detailed blog post um, about the partnership with all the benefits we are going to provide you as customer. Um, for um, our example, we are using the Amazon SageMaker Studio, which is a web-based machine learning IDE for training transformer model directly in AWS with the integrated permission management. So as you can see here right now, I have my, my um, notebook up and running. I'm running on a, on a small T3 instance and yeah, let's get started. You can find this notebook as mentioned on the huggingface.co um, slash Amazon site. Um, for our example, as mentioned, we are training an end-to-end -end binary text classification model using uh, transformers and data sets for training and pre-processing our data. Um, I will show you our fine-tuning script later. The first step we need to do is to to install the transformers library and the data sets with the S3 extension in our SageMaker Studio. Okay, as we have now installed everything, we can move forward. The first and important step is to, to, yeah, to configure our SageMaker session and get the right credentials. In SageMaker, you can define a SageMaker session bucket which uh, if it is not created, um, SageMaker will create it. And this SageMaker or this bucket um, is used for storing all your yeah, information during training. Our data set will be uploaded to there. Our um, trained model at the end will upload it. There we have our logs and metrics will also be located. So we have a, we have a central point of all the information for a training job. Okay, the next step is to, to check if we have, um, yeah, if our SageMaker Hugging Face integration is available. It is. Nice. Okay, we have set up our SageMaker session. We created our session backend. We configured our, um, yeah, AWS region where our training job will run. The next step is pre-processing um, our data. In the new extension, you can either pre-process your data in advance and provide the pre-processed data set um, in your training job, or you can do it inside a training job. In this example, um, I decided that we do the pre-processing in advance. So here's a, yeah, a few code snippets where we are going to load our IMDB data set with the data sets library, um, load a tokenizer from the hub, from the Hugging Face hub, create a helper function for tokenizing it, um, tokenizing our train and test data set. In the example, I sample down the test data set so we don't have to wait um, when doing training. And at the end, we are just um, yeah setting the format to Torch since we are using PyTorch as our base framework for this example. Um, <clears throat> I will not do this right now because it takes a few minutes and this should be a very yeah, easy and light walk through, but it works. After we have um, yeah, pre-processed our data set, we are going to use the new file system integration for data sets where we can directly save our pre-processed data set to S3. The only thing we need to do is to define mm, yeah, an S3 URI uh, <clears throat> where the training set will be located. Therefore, we use our default bucket with a S3 prefix uh, we defined earlier for, for naming our data set. So we'll have our SageMaker session bucket slash uh, IMDB slash train. And for, for tests, we are doing the same. Okay. So <clears throat> as I, I mentioned um, earlier, 
we introduced a new SDK. It's very similar to the existing, such as for TensorFlow or for PyTorch. The, the new SDK is built not only by AWS, we from the Hugging Face side also help them to build a nice SDK to provide you developer the best experience on fine tuning transformer models on Amazon SageMaker. And if you have any feedback or yeah, important news for us, please let us know. The estimator is basically a class instance of where you define everything SageMaker needs for your training job. We have an entry point where our um, train yeah, script is located. We define our SageMaker session. We can give our training job a name. We define the instance type um, on which the training will be run. We define the instance count. So here you can basically scale up from one to as many instances you want to run distributed training, for example. And then we define our hyperparameters, which will be passed in as named arguments. So you can imagine these dictionary will be converted to this named argument for the training set. For our fine tuning script, we are using a pretty basic example using the trainer from transformers and um, yeah, basic configuration basically. A training script in SageMaker is a normal Python script with main method. And you, the first thing you need to do in your fine tuning script is to, to, yeah, to set up the argument parser since the hyperparameters will be passed in as named arguments. If you don't have any hyperparameters, feel free to leave it out. In our examples, we are going to pass in the epochs, the batch size and the model names. For most of the arguments, I defined um, default arguments, but for the model name, for examples, I didn't define any defaults. So we are need to, to, def to, yeah, to pass in the hyperparameter for our model into our fine tuning script. After we have passed our arguments, um, we are setting up yeah, a logger to get all the informations we want from our training script. SageMaker is um, forwarding the logs to our CLI and it's saving them to CloudWatch. So if you run your SageMaker job asynchronously, which means that you start and don't wait until it's done, you can up look up your logs later in CloudWatch. Okay, next step is load our data set. As um, or since we have uploaded our data sets to S3, SageMaker has downloaded them in advance on the machine where the training job is run. And then we can use the load from disk method from the datasets library to load our pre processed um, data sets. That's it. We are um, logging information about the length. Then we define a yeah, compute um, function for, for evaluation later. The next step is um, creating our model instance where we are using our passed in model name parameter for loading the model from the app. Then we define our training arguments, which will be used in the training. Here you can see we are also using the epochs from uh, that we pass in the batch size. And then we create our trainer instance with our model, our arguments, our um, custom compute metrics function pass in our train and data set, and then we run trainer.train. After training is done, we run um, trainer.evaluate with our evaluation data set, save the results uh, in a text file, which will be also uploaded to S3 later, and then save our models to our model directory. And that's basically it. Okay. So here you can see we have the, the hyperparameters we are going to pass in. And as model name, we are using the distal bird model, batch size of 16, running one epoch. I think it's enough for our small little example. Then we, we create our estimator, give it a last check on our hyperparameters, and then we can run um, estimator.fit and pass in our train and test input parameters. And here train input path is our S3 URI to our um, directory on S3. That's it, our, our training is now finished. Um, as you can see, SageMaker has forwarded all the logs from our um, training to the console. If we would have invoked or run the training asynchronously, we could see these logs um, 
uh, in CloudWatch. Um, here you can see uh, SageMaker is logging the, the training environment. Uh, we have all the environment variables uh, which are accessible in our training job. Then we have the, the logs from our uh, training script where you can see our uh, train data set length, our test data set length, and the metrics from our um, yeah, evaluation. As, as a evaluation accuracy, we have um, 92%. And also the training took around um, 935 seconds, which is roughly about 15 minutes. So it's pretty nice. Um, worth mentioning is that you only need to adjust like two lines of code to use or to run um, SageMaker distributed training. Um, we have integrated uh, data distribution directly into the trainer and model library is also integrated into a SageMaker trainer. Um, I hope you liked the walkthrough. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to open a new thread on our uh, Hugging Face forum or open a GitHub issue.